Okay guys, another day, another Tesla update today. It is down 4%, 170.54. That's where it's trading as of Wednesday, March 13th. Uh, let's have a look at the daily chart for this stock. So year to date, yes, this stock is still down and it's still the worst stock in S&P 500. And right now, as of at this price, 31% down that's pretty big down move and officially um, year to date however when you, you want to look from its highs stock is in a bear market okay so slipping below this support area of 175 that i was watching on a daily chart you can see it did attempt to bounce off of this level one two three four five days in a row and today i think there was some sort of a downgrade in the morning and it came down. Also, if I was following the overall option activity for this name and there were a lot of um, flows in the last like five, six days as it was sitting down there, coming in and it was not uh, calls or puts being like clearly standing out. But very institutional even today you can see most active stocks options number one tesla and it's down four percent 1.8 million uh options volume traded so far 52 percent puts 47 percent calls and it's been like this for quite some time and i'm assuming that a lot of people who hold positions funds and etc uh, they could be just selling calls, buying puts, protection. Uh, but right here, right now, in terms of price levels, here's what I'm watching. So let's update these levels. So in a larger scheme, you can see this blue line on my chart is a resistance line. And it has been a downtrend as well. So I'm going back to last year where this stock, basically in the in the beginning of the year, we did have this huge rally, right? All the way up came down tested came down earnings gap down and then it made a move all the way to uh, almost $300 and almost tried to break out of this downtrend but it could not so now these levels from last year of April March May these are the levels I will be watching for TSLA as a local short-term uh, support which is 165 and 153, 152.50. So can it come down all the way to this level? Absolutely. This week is pretty big option expiration. That's why I'm not taking a risk trying to short it, even though this is a perfect short setup for me, but I'm not taking this name uh, to, I mean, I don't have any position. I'm not holding shares. I'm not holding options just as a disclosure. And also this is, purely for entertainment and educational purposes. So, and just like with other videos that I spoke that these levels are very, very crucial for the Tesla try to bounce. Because if you take a look at the, let me bring up moving averages, it is below all of its moving averages. You can see yellow line on my chart. This one is a 50 day moving average. It's trading well below it. Uh, kind of over I mean I don't want to say too overextended to the downside to try to buy this uh, I would want to see flushing move usually stocks don't try to put a low like this even though it chops around drifts like this it takes flushing downside move for the stock to I mean for me to consider this name to trade to the upside as a contrarian I think it can have lower moves if especially five day move on average my gauge and you can see five day move on average downtrending as well and it's below it and five day moving average itself is in a downtrend as well so if it gets back above it and if it tries to curl something like this yeah i might consider to try to long it but right here right now tesla looking bearish and those are the support levels I'm watching for Tesla. This is the update. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.